There are a number of ways to troubleshoot and fix various issues that you're currently experiencing on the Galaxy Note 9. Now if you've been following along in this series, I recently showed you how to boot the device up into safe mode. And that is a great and easy first troubleshooting step for those who are trying to find out if there is if there is a third party application that is causing overheating issues or poor battery life or even poor performance, force closes, anything like that. If any time your Galaxy Note 9 smartphone does not perform the way you expect it to, the first troubleshooting step is to do boot it up into safe mode. So if you have not done that yet, follow along in this series. This will be included in the full tutorial which will be linked below the video in the video description. For those of you who are, are watching on YouTube, and I'll have this whole series linked at the top of each of these basics for the Galaxy Note 9. However, sometimes just a third party application isn't the reason why your Galaxy Note 9 is messing up. There are some times when it's actually something that is wrong with the core operating system that is actually messing up. So today I'm going to show you how to do two different versions of the factory data reset. First is commonly referred to as the soft data reset or the soft format. And then the second version is known as the hard factory data reset or a hard reset. Now these are known for different reasons. The soft factory data reset is because we're going to be using the regular software. It's a lot easier to do, so I'm going to show you how to do that first. All we have to do is go and tap on the settings application. Now if you have any accounts set up on this phone and you're doing this data reset to sell or give the phone to somebody else, you're going to need to go into the accounts section and remove all of those accounts. But if you're just trying to fix an issue that your device is having, we can ignore that and just go to the general management option. From here we, you can see we have the reset option and there are a number of different ways that we can reset. A regular reset settings is just going to reset all the settings that you have set up. This can be a great way to just have the phone reset any type of software settings that you have set up. Maybe you change the wallpaper, maybe you change something in the developer mode. Whatever that is, you can just do a regular reset settings if it's something very small. However, most of you are going to be looking for the factory data reset option. And this is the part where you're going to actually erase everything on your phone. It's going to give you a warning right here of what will be erased. If you have data, if you have any accounts act, uh, attached to your phone, you're going to see those accounts listed there. And if you have any data attached to any of your applications, this is a freshly reset phone, so these applications won't be listed there, you're going to see those listed there as well. And of course, before you do a factory data reset, go ahead and use Samsung Smart Switch to do a backup. Again, I have covered that on my website, AndroidExplain.com. So be sure to look at that video description so you can have a link to that full tutorial. As I will have a link to all of those step-by-step -step guides in each of these articles. Whenever you're ready to do the soft data reset, the soft factory data reset, you should go ahead and tap on reset here. And then you're going to see a reset all. Again, you're going to be warned that all of your personal information, all of your apps, all of your 
uh, pictures, everything is going to be wiped out. The data that, that has been backed up on your SD card will not be erased, though. So that's something that's nice there. I'm not going to follow through with this because it's just a very simple process. The soft factory data reset is just a couple of taps away. So if you were to tap on that delete all button, your phone, the Galaxy Note 9 is going to shut down. You're going to boot up into a blue screen and it's going to say erasing phone. And then you're going to boot up and you're going to set up your device again. You're going to activate Android, you're going to connect your Google account, you're going to connect your Samsung account and any other accounts you may have attached to this device. However, today I want to show, since that's so easy to do, I'm actually going to do a factory data reset, which is known as the hard factory data reset. And to do that, we first need to shut off the Galaxy, the Galaxy Note 9. And once the phone is completely shut off, we're going to boot up into recovery mode. And to do that, we're going to press and hold the power, the big speed, and the volume up buttons at the same time. Continue holding these three buttons down, and if done properly, we're going to boot up into recovery mode. Once you have booted into Android recovery mode, since the touch screen does not work here, we're going to need to use the volume up and volume down buttons. See there's an option here called wipe data slash factory reset. A big red warning comes up. This is if we reset our phone, we may need to enter the Google account information, our email address and password associated with it if we want to use it again. That was why I warned you to remove any accounts if you're going to be selling this device. That is just a security layer protection that Android has in here. So just be aware of that. As long as you're prepared to continue, we're just going to be pressing on the power button to select this option. And then we're going to be asked to confirm, are we sure we want to wipe all data? Again, press the volume up or volume down button. This time we're going to select the yes option. Press the power button to select it. And you can see it is done that quick. Now if we look down here at the bottom half of the phone, you can see what actually happened. We wiped the data, we formatted the data, we formatted the cache partitions, and that means the data wipe was complete and we have fully reset the phone. Again, this is known as a hard data reset or a hard factory data reset. And it just it's just a different way of wiping out your phone so in case you cannot boot up into Android maybe you are stuck in a boot loop you should always be able to boot up into Android recovery and do your factory data reset that way so that you can start over and start fresh with a brand new copy of Android And just turn our attention back to the top of the screen. Um, the Reboot System Now option should be highlighted by default. And all we are going to do is going to, since it's already highlighted, we're just going to press the power button to select that option. And that's going to boot our Galaxy Note 9 back into Android, and everything is going to be reset. Now naturally this first boot process is going to take longer than normal. 
again, we have just wiped all of the data we had on our phone, everything that Android had set up, everything that Samsung had set up, and all the apps installed, our games. Again, all of that has been wiped out. And this first boot cycle is going to take longer than normal. Process, process on this first boot cycle usually takes between two, three, maybe even four minutes. Usually closer to the two to three minute side. No need to be paranoid. No need to worry. Now if something had happened and you started to see your Galaxy Note 9 reboot over and over and over, that is known as a boot loop, then that is something to be worried about. That shouldn't happen simply because you did a factory data reset unless you had other modifications done to your phone. If that's the case though, then we can completely wipe and install the software that we have on our phone by booting up into download mode and flashing the firmware via some software called Odin and of course I'll be showing you how to do that in future tutorials so again both processes that I just showed you here today the soft factory data reset and the hard factory data reset are both going to do the same thing one is not better than the other it's just that one process you can do from the actual Android software while the other one you do from recovery mode for those times when you cannot boot up into the Android software. And that's it from beginning to end that is how to perform a soft factory data reset and how to perform a hard factory data reset on the Galaxy Note 9.